Hey guys, welcome to my uh, top 20 hurricane countdown during uh, Hurricane Ian. We're gonna do, uh, I'm gonna give you my top 20 songs, uh, weather related songs. I'm trying to get songs that are close to being about the weather, but obviously you have some songs that have like weather in the title, but they're, uh, they're uh, more like symbolism and things like that. So anyway, I'm gonna give you my top 20 songs here. And um, so far so good. And uh, we'll keep you updated as we go and uh, as we get through the countdown. So let's start the countdown. Okay, so the storm's kicking in a little bit. Knocked over a couple things. And this is the area I want to show you, kind of focus on right back here. Because this is the area that if we're going to get any flooding, this is the part that's going to get flooded out. And you can actually see where it's already starting. Because actually back behind these pepper trees and this preserve, I have... Um, there's a there's a waterway back there like a little um, I don't even know what you call it not even really a creek it's a actually comes out from old Tampa Bay but you can see where it's already flooding out right back there so this whole area more than likely is gonna get completely covered and oh, it looks like we have a big tree down over here already this sucker's already come down so all these big tree limbs are gonna come down so once that wind picks up but anyway I'm gonna start my little count down here in my area before it gets flooded and the first song i have for you guys is uh the carpenters rainy days and mondays so it came out in 1971 uh the carpenters sang it written by paul williams so number 20 fix my hat rainy days and mondays rainy days and mondays always get me dry. okay so number 19 is raindrops keep falling on my head get it Ooh, there's a good one. Came out in 1969, written by Burt Bacharach, and I guess it was written for the film Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. So as you can see, the rain's still coming down pretty consistently, and the wind kind of uh, just comes and goes. Um, you see these big breezes coming in, and uh, we'll see if it gets stronger or what happens as the day progresses. So there you go. There's your number 19, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. No. B.J. Thomas, raindrops keep falling on my head. Raindrops are falling on my head. Okay, well, number 18 is It's Raining Again by Supertramp. Came out in, I think, 1982, and there's my door. And it's gonna come and get me. It was uh, on the album uh, Famous Last Words, I believe. So, number 18, It's Raining Again. So, number 17 is The Rain Song. Get it? By Led Zeppelin, came out in 1973. It was a ballad, I think it's over seven minutes long, and it was on Houses of the Holy. So, there you go. Number 17, The Rain Song. It is the springtime of my loving. All right, so number 16 is Bob Dylan's Blowing in the Wind. Came out in 1963. It was on the uh, Free Wheel and Bob Dylan album. The answer, my friend, is a blowing in the wind. Song number 15 is from 1992. It is Guns and Roses, November Rain. It's September almost October but not November so anyway that came out in 1992 it was a big hit I remember that that video playing like crazy it was like a big extended long dramatic video for it uh, the axle was turning over tables and uh, I think that's the video where Slash was outside of a church um, doing his guitar solo pretty sure that was that video so anyway that's number 15 
Number 14 is Shelter from the Storm, Bob Dylan. It was on the uh, awesome, if you haven't heard it, go get it, Blood on the Tracks album. If uh, That's just a great song, great album, all the way around. Love that album. And it came out, I believe, in 1974. So I'm up here in the attic. It's appropriate, right? Shelter from the Storm. And I'm working on, uh, well, taking a look at two areas that I know are a problem for me right now that um, have leaks. So I'm going to go ahead and get some containers up here to catch the water so it doesn't do any more damage down below. Anyway, that's your uh, number 14, Bob Dylan, Shelter from the Storm. Here's the shelter right up there. I'm in, she said, I'll give you shelter from the storm. All right, we have number 13 here. So in July of 1983, Hopefully I got my gears right. July of 1983, Prince stepped into the studio and recorded his masterpiece, Purple Rain. So this song, Purple Rain, is number 13. And uh, it's an album that still works for me. I know it has a lot of 80s sound to it. I have some friends that have kind of given up on it because of that sound. But uh, Prince and uh, that album is, is still like, I can put it on and love that album all the way through. Giving you guys an update here in the back. Still not too bad right back there. Some little bit of flooding, but not bad actually. Last time the hurricane came, <coughs> excuse me, this whole area was flooded up. Came up to, uh, to these trees over here. And uh, good thing we're up on like a pretty good hill back here. So anyway, number 13, Prince, Purple Rain. If you haven't heard the album, which is uh, highly unlikely, go check it out, you might like it. So we're up to number 12, and number 12 is Stevie Ray Vaughan, Couldn't Stand the Weather. I believe it came out in 1984, it was his second album. And uh, I am right now at Ari Olds Park. You can see behind me, there's the entrance to it right there. And it stretches out back this way. And normally, there's water right up to here. The water starts there, and then it gets deeper as you go out. But all this is uh, pulled back from the hurricane, so it's pretty interesting how this how this works. You can see it from way out there. All that it looks like water, but it's actually not water. That's all. That's all sand. Usually, this is completely covered with water. So that hurricane has sucked that water out towards the the bay. So this is uh this is near like Safety Harbors over that way, back that way, and then. See, I'm losing my hat again. Tampa Bay is actually way out that way. So, anyway, number 12, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Couldn't stand the weather. Well, I'm doing all right with this weather right now. Okay, so number 11 is Eric Clapton's Let It Rain from 1972. 1972 had Delaney and Bonnie and a lot of, a lot of good people. It's a really good album. We'll continue the countdown. Like I said, we're on number 11. Eric Clapton, Let It Rain. And it's sprinkling right now, so we'll let it sprinkle for right now. Let it rain, let it rain, let your love rain down. Okay, so number 10, hold on to my hat because I'm trying to lose it here. Number 10 is Like a Hurricane. <laughs> Neil Young from American Stars and Mars came out in 1977. And I'm still at the uh, Ari Olds Park over here. And this right here where I'm standing is actually where I believe boats come up to. I'm not sure like if you can get onto a boat here, but this is, uh, I believe you can get onto your boat right here. But there's usually water up to there pretty, pretty high. But as you can see, it's, it's down, like all the water's been drained out and it's all out to the bay over there. Maybe this is a better shot of it. But right there, this area right here is usually, you got water coming up probably like right into here, into this area right here. Number 10, Neil Young, American Stars and Bars from 1977. So I'm gonna head back over to the car right now. And you can see all that back there, that's usually water, but uh, it's all sand, hurricane, Ian has sucked all that water out over there. You are like a 
this whole area right here is normally water. You can see where the water normally comes up to. Even out there, what are those power lines? Yeah, right? Those power lines out there, you can actually see the base. You don't normally see that. It's usually covered in water. Right here is where the water usually begins. Everything's just sucked out to the bay out there. All right, so number nine, 1963. Bob Dylan's A Hard Rain's Gonna Fall. Uh, it's on the free will in Bob Dylan. And I'm standing where there's normally water. Bob Dylan's A Hard Rain's Gonna Fall. It's hard, it's a hard rain's gonna fall. Okay, so I'm still hatless. Next song is number eight from 1984. Rock You Like a Hurricane. And we're getting, we're not getting rocked so hard, luckily, in our area. But some of our are, it's unfortunate. So you can see right there where it says, slow down your boat. Well, this only has water, but not today. So, I'm going to head back in because it's getting crazy. So, number eight, 1984, Scorpions, Rock You Like a Hurricane. So, I was walking back, and then I noticed when I turned around, somebody drove something through here. Looks like they made it. You can see the tracks going up. They turn over there. And then they came back out over here. So I don't know what they were driving, but they made it. Whatever it is. Okay, so we're cruising along pretty good. Still got drizzle going on, wind going. Uh, so we're on number seven. Um, this is The Doors. Which song do you think I'm going to say? I'll give you a second to think about it. Probably not going to be that hard, right? Riders in the Storm. 1971 from L.A. Woman. So that's our number seven pick. Hopefully I'm getting these numbers right. I really don't feel like doing any editing. It's been a long day. Just The stress is pretty much gone, but it is kind of crazy. You're seeing, I saw a... a tree branch just knocked down and I'm like wow they got that strong so it should be good around 2 a.m. so now it's about 8 o'clock so um, so we're I, hopefully we're past the worst of it and we'll just get through it and be done and just be thankful that um, you know our area um, you know didn't didn't suffer what they down in Sarasota Naples area and I just I wish that thing would have just died out and nobody had to go through any of this but so we're on number seven, LA, or uh, Riders on the Storm from LA Woman. Riders on the Storm. So I'm going to the back to take a look again to see if we got any flooding back there, but I really don't think there's any flooding going on. So we are on number six. I think this is number six. And uh, fits perfectly. This is from 1980, Eddie Rabbit. What song is that? I Love a Rainy Night. Well, it's a rainy night. So I'm gonna go back here and take a look and show you guys what I see. So again, number six, 1980, I love a rainy night, Eddie Rabbit. Well, I love a rainy night. I love a rainy night. I love to hear the thunder. Watch. Okay, so number five. This is actually perfect for this right now. Singing in the Rain, Gene Kelly. And it's from 1952. So that is our number five, Gene Kelly, Singing in the Rain. Um, I believe he even used like a lamppost, right? There you go. But uh, you're not going to see me singing in the rain. Sorry. I might sing, but I'm not going to be doing that dance thing. Sorry. Just, I don't do the dance thing. I don't know why. But anyway, number five. Gene Kelly singing in the rain. I'm singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. What a glory. I made it inside. I'm, I'm done being out in that weather and the, the wind and the rain and moving everything. It's been a long day. What time is it? Probably 8, 30, 9, I don't even know right now. Um, and you see that right behind me? That's that's how the night's gonna end right there. 
empty glass. Oh, I was going to show you my hat too, because in that other part where it blew off there, it got beat up a little bit. I'm tired. Look at my eyes. I'm freaking done. So anyway, uh, number four, I hope it's four, uh, garbage from 1995. I'm only happy when it rains. And I kind of get that feeling. I always look for a rainy day. I, I don't know why I like rainy days. So, uh, number four, garbage. I love a rainy, I love a rainy night. <laughs> I I'm only happy when it rains. 1995, and it was from, I don't know if it was their debut album, but it was a self-titled album, um, Garbage. All right, so number three, and you're probably wondering what I'm showing you, but I'm just gonna show you my little collection. I don't have a crazy collection like some of you guys out there with your thousands of records, but I'm doing pretty good of over just over 700. But number three is, and this is a good album right here. Got that recently. Just listen to it. Man, that's good. I got to look for some more Sonny Rollins. Uh, here's my little Sheryl Crow car too. I don't know if you've ever seen that in the videos, but it's a little Sheryl Crow race car. Uh, so number three is the Beatles, Rain. Perfect song for that. It's actually about the rain. So that's why it rang high, and I like the song. I've always liked the melody of Rain. Um, I think that was 1966, if I'm remembering correctly, because my mind is gone. Um, you're gonna see these in an upcoming video too. Some 45s I picked up at a yard sale. Still haven't had time to shoot that video. Um, so 1966, The Beatles, Rain. I think it was a B-side to Paperback Writer. Um, this is my setup, believe it or not. I just have some Sony speakers in here. I know they're on the ground, but I had the, I, the problem I had with this is, um, I know you should have those speakers up more ear level, and maybe I need to put them up on the walls. And my only alternative was to put them on, you know, up here and there, but you don't want to have those speakers next to your record player because of the vibration and all that. So I'll have to figure this room out, but I like how it sounds in here right now. Um, and I do have, a cool little setup where I can actually put headphones in. And here's the rest of my collection. It kind of continues over into this closet. Uh, oh, and there's a cool book. Everyone check out my Hendrix. And uh, no one likes a fart. There you go. It's perfect to end the day. And there's some stuff. A little behind the scenes. Some gifts for my kids. A little Beatles Yellow Submarine action happening back there. And the rest of my albums going down in there. And there's the little blue shirt I always wear probably never see the whole thing but that's usually what I put on when I do my my uh, my videos so anyway there you go a little behind the scenes oh and there's a little guitar my kids played uh, when they were little so anyway so number three again is the Beatles rain if I got it all right 1966 b-side to paperback writer <laughs> This is a fitting song. It's actually perfect for this weather. I was kind of gonna make, was thinking about making this number one, but I thought number one was a little bit better in my opinion. Um, this is from 1983, and I can't believe it was actually 1983. This feels like a, a song that was a little bit further out than 83, like mid or late 80s, but it's the Arrhythmics, Here Comes the Rain Again. It was from their third or fourth studio albums, I think, album called Touch. When you listen to that song, does it sound like 83? I mean, that's Billy Joel. This is like right around the time of, what was Thriller, 82 or 83? Does that song sound like that period of time? I think even Springsteen, uh, Morning USA was around that time. And Here Comes the Rain Again just seems later than 83. So anyway, that's number two. Okay, so. We made it, it's about 11.30. Weather out there is still, you know, windy and rain here and there. So we, we got lucky on this one. All right, so the number one is Creedence Clearwater Revival. Which song do you think I picked? Not Who Will Stop the Rain, good title, but it has different meaning to it. I liked Have You Ever Seen the Rain? Because that's actually about the rain, unless I read the lyrics wrong. It's been a long day. Hopefully I got it right. I want to know, have you ever seen the rain? So it's from the uh, Pendulum album from 19, 
the 70 or 71. I'm trying to remember all my research here. But um, I felt that was the best one. I, um, I, these songs, when I listened to them, um, I actually made my list while listening to them in the car while I was driving around, while the hurricane was kind of on its way, while it was starting. And there was a certain feel that I was getting also. And this song just fit perfectly. It put me in a good mood. Um, it's just that it's got an upbeat tempo to it, Fogarty going at it. So I felt that was the number one. So let me know in the comments what you guys think if uh, if you had another idea of what would be number one during a hurricane. But I actually put this together as I was in that prepping stage of the hurricane. So I think that's a good pick. Hopefully everybody in uh, South Florida is doing okay. Um, um, you know, I, I feel guilty almost because, you know, it was, um, you know, we could have had what they what they were hit with. It was headed for us, and it went south. And they kind of took the brunt of it um, several years ago when it came up the coast and slowed down by the time it got to us. So thinking of you guys out there, and hopefully everybody's safe, all my friends out there in Sarasota area. Um, definitely thinking about you guys. Here I am getting serious while I'm butt naked in the shower. That's, that's interesting, right? All right, so thanks for watching again, guys. And uh, that's my number one pick. Credence comes out on top with Have You Ever Seen the Rain? And uh, you guys take care out there. Until next time, you guys enjoy your music, all right? Bye. So just giving you a last minute update before I end the video, just to show you. You can see a lot of debris on the ground. Shook those trees out pretty good. Got all that moss off of there. But even the swing was intact. So a lot of moss, a lot of palm tree debris. Probably some loose stuff that just needs to be shaken out of there. Uh, the water didn't really come up any higher. Uh, like I said, last year, this, this whole area was flooded out. Or not last year, sorry, last hurricane. But um, we didn't even get any water up in here. Because that's usually where it comes in, right there. And another little branch came down. Good size one back there that I showed you yesterday. But the birds are back out. Hear them chirping again. Still getting uh, gusts of wind and nice and windy. It's actually nice and nice and cool. It's very relieving. Uh, getting nice cool weather in Florida right now. I don't know what it is, but I'm actually a little chilly and it takes a lot to cool me off. So anyway, that was it. Just wanted to give you that last little update before uh, end of the video.